Nutty Sports Gamer here. It is November 2000, the first full month of the 2001 NBA season on the 40 Year Sim. And on today's episode, we'll be checking out new look teams, up and coming teams, T Mac and Grant Hill and the Orlando Magic. And of course, MJ, Michael Jordan's retiring. And we'll be seeing a little bit of his retirement tour here and there throughout the video. Hope you're looking forward to all that. Plus, there's a link in the description below that shows the 40 year sim history. I am working on it little by little every day. It's pretty filled out nicely. The 80s are pretty filled out. The 90s I'm still working on. But make sure you check out that link if you want to check out the full history of the sim. Let's get into some games. Utah Jazz, a young Utah Jazz team facing the Denver Nuggets. You see a three-pointer there by Glenn Rice. Now we got Steve Francis. Handling the ball, passing it to King for the three-pointer there. 85-83, Nuggets with the lead with five minutes left to go, and Glenn Rice is going to make that basket for the Nuggets. The Nuggets are kind of a weird team right now. See a missed shot there. New Bill gets the rebound and put back for the Jazz. Nuggets are a weird team in the, now that they don't have Bookie Blaylock or the Kevin Batumbo, but they're still trying to compete. They're not... Rebuilding, they're not tanking, they're still trying to compete as we see a, a basket there for the Jazz, 88-87. Meanwhile, the Jazz are trying to, they, they kind of feel like they got a little something-something going on there. Anton Jameson and 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 Kerry Kittles and Steve Francis and Kenyon Martin. But here's Christian Leitner of the Nuggets making a basket for the Nuggets. Steve Francis now with the ball, down by three. The young second-year point guard. Let's see what he can do here. He pulls up for the J. Misses, but a putback there for the Jazz. Makes it a 91-90 game with 35 seconds left to go. Robert Pack passing it to Leitner. He makes that basket for the Nuggets. Three-point game. Less than 30 seconds left to go. Steve Francis passing it to Kerry Kittles for the basket there. We're back to a one-point game, and now back to a three-point game. That's kind of confusing what I just said. But Francis receives the pass, gets the dunk. Steve Francis is definitely coming alive in this sim. It's nice to see. There's a free throw there for the Nuggets. So 97-94, 10 seconds left to go. A three-pointer is no good. The Jazz had more time to come up with a play, but they decide to rush a three. 97-94, the final score. Nuggets end up winning the game. 22 for Steve Francis, 24-18 and 18 for Christian Leitner. Let's move on to the Timberwolves, the Rockets. The Rockets are definitely a team that's I don't know. They're just in a weird spot with no Hakeem, no Clyde Drexler, no Scottie Pippen. Meanwhile, Marbury and the Timberwolves are trying to make it to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Damn it! You, see, you saw Marbury make a layup. There's Robert Ori of the Rockets making a basket. And now it's 85-84. Rod Strickland for three. That's good. Rod Strickland, the tank commander. They're essentially tanking. Although they really... Sh Actually, they're not tanking. I really don't know what the Rockets are doing. They're just kind of in a weird spot. Hakeem left. Everyone wanted to leave. Here's a dunk there. Uh, Victor Alexander. So they're just, they're, they're, they're just kind of in a ground zero of a rebuild, basically. You know, they they got some good players. They got some bad players. It just doesn't really make much sense. But eventually, they'll just be in a full-fledged rebuild uh, after this season when some of these contracts would expire, if they trade some guys away, whatever they decide to do. Tie game at 91, though, as Robert Ori passes it to Harold, Harold Miner, who misses. Timberwolves get the ball back. Jermaine O'Neal to Brian Russell. Two and a half left to go. Here's a nice pass to Sean Bradley. Makes that dunk. Timberwolves take a two-point lead. Rod Strickland can't make that three. Jermaine O'Neal with the rebound. And here we got Harper to Marbury. Marbury making the dunk there. A clutch dunk. 95-91. 50 seconds left to go. We got uh, Stacy King to Harold Miner, I think, for a three right there. So this game isn't over. 95-94. How about Rod Strickland for a three? Oh, my. Tie game with 20. Now 10 seconds left to go. Marbury. Can he be clutch? Let us see. Marbury passing it to Ron Harper. 
Uh, overtime. <laughs> We're going overtime. 4.37 left to go in overtime, and Charles Barkley's out there. And check out this basket by Sir Charles in his mid to late 30s at this point. Somehow still on the Rockets. He'll get traded eventually, just not right now. Marbury to Sean Bradley. Back to a tie game. Rod Strickland can't get that shot to fall. Sean Bradley gets the rebound. Marbury taking it the other way. Jermaine O'Neal with the basket for the Wolves. Robert Ory. Did he get blocked there? I think he did. Now Stephon Marbury is going to spin. Make that layup. 103.99. Brian Russell. Uh, bad pass. And here come the Rockets. Minor to Strickland for the layup. Two-point game. Rockets get the ball again. Harold Miner misses. Ron Harper with the rebound. And let's see how Ron Harper and the Wolves do with two points. Uh, having a two-point lead now, a five-point lead, a four-point lead, I should say, now. As Ron Harper makes this basket for the Wolves, which just might seal the deal. It does. 115-107 is the final score there. The Wolves... They're a good team. They have good players. They're certainly a capable team. Uh, we just need to see them finish the job. 37 points for Rod Strickland in this game. Robert Orr had 19. Uh, Marbury played 53 minutes, 33 points, and they maybe desperately need a backup point guard. But for now, Marbury's playing all the minutes, and we salute him for that. Team Mac and Grand Hill, you ready for this, guys? Orlando versus Boston. Boston has a pretty fun starting five as well. So this is fun to check out. Kenny Anderson handling the ball for Boston. He makes that layup tie game 78 with 7. 18 left to go. Khaled Reeves loses the ball. Khaled Reeves, formerly of the of the Celtics. Celtics. I can't talk. There's a three-pointer for, for Boston. Now T-Mac, he's going to make a jumper for Orlando. 81-80. Kenny Anderson making the shot there. Boston up by three. Got Tracy McGrady pulling up. Can't make that shot. Vin Baker, though, does get the put back. One point lead. Uh, still for the Celtics. Now it's a three point lead after that jumper. I think that was Kenny Anderson again. T Mac is going to miss that shot. Vin Baker with the jam. 85 84. 520 left to go. You got Luke Longley out there. You got a alley oop there. I think that was Lamar Odom. Ray Allen making the shot there for the Celtics. Nice replay. And now we have Vin Baker with the ball up against Lamar Odom. Can't make the shot. Odom with some nice defense, some nice inside defense. Ray Allen. Passing it to Kenny Anderson, who can't make that layup. Luke Longley, though, does get the, the, the basket there. And the Celtics will win this game 96-90. The Magic are still figuring things out. They got two big stars. But they got, you know, two and a half stars, depending on what you think about Vin Baker. But, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're cooking something over there. They're just not quite ready to, to show what they're making. So, I don't know. Clippers... Bucks get Jim Jackson to Dirk. The Bucks down by five. Nine thirteen left to go in the game. Chris Weber making a basket there for the Clippers. Chris Childs missing. Matumbo gets the rebound and the put back. And now here is Dana Barros passing it to Vladi Divac for a basket. Barrows in there instead of Penny Hardaway. Hopefully we see Penny soon. Penny, of course, is now on the on the Clippers. Larry Hughes makes that jumper. So this is Penny versus old team. If we see Penny out there, eventually he comes. Hopefully he comes out there. Missed shot by the Bucks and the Clippers with the ball back. Stojakovic with the basket. Take a look at Stojakovic once again. 93-84. Rebound Clippers here, but a stolen pass or stolen ball, I should say, 
a three by Chris Childs makes it a six point game. Larry Hughes can't make that shot, and the Bucks suddenly have a chance to make this a one possession game with a three right here. Yes, sir. That was Jim Jackson, 93-90 now, the, the, the score. Divac with the bucket. Matumbo with a bucket. We're firing back and forth here, back and forth affair. Larry Hughes now with a bucket. 97-92, 2.47 left to go. Manu Ginobili. Manu Ginobili is out there. Haven't really said his name in the sim yet, but check out this layup. That's going to be fun to watch for the next 15 years, right? So Yakovic misses. Chris Weber with the with the putback right there. Chris Childs misses. Benny Hardaway. Finally, he's out there. Finally, he shows up to play his former team. Larry Hughes to Divac for the dunk. 101-94. Penny Hardaway guarded by Chris Childs. Weber receives the pass, misses the first shot, but makes the second one with a dunk right there. 109-100, final score. Weber, Divac, Djokovic, all over 20. And we got to move right along to Hawks, Timberwolves, Tim Duncan receiving the pass in the post. Guarded by Jermaine O'Neal. Can't make that shot. Makes the putback. 77-72. Brian Russell to Jermaine O'Neal makes that basket. 440 left to go. Allen Iverson to Tim Duncan. He's going to throw down the jam. Make it 81-74. Stephon Marbury with a jumper. Five-point game. Allen Iverson makes a basket there. Nice layup. Seven-point lead for the Hawks. Iverson receives the pass from Tim Duncan, makes that shot. Nice two-man game there. Tim Duncan and Allen Iverson really starting to really become a formidable threat in the East as the Hawks win that game against the Timberwolves. Check out a nice, nice screenshot of Tim Duncan right there against Jermaine O'Neal. That might be a winner, actually. I kind of like that one. Deshaun Leonard gets blocked. We are watching Grizzlies Nets in New Jersey. Vince Carter starts things off with a nice dunk for Vancouver. 86-80. Vince with the fake, the pump fake, and then the jump shot. Eight-point lead all of a sudden. Vinny up against Steve Nash. Keith Van Horn receives the pass. Uh, Richard Dumas? Tony Dumas? I think that's Tony Dumas with that basket for the Grizzlies 10 point game Steve Nash to Tony McDice 92-82 now is the score McDice is nice 8 point game Diva uh, <laughs> Diva Vince Carter to Lajuan 10 point game stole Lynn Ball Carter to Van Horn making it a 12 point game 96-86. Now Jalen Rose makes the basket for the Grizzlies. And this game is over. The Grizzlies are pretty damn good. It's their final season in Vancouver. And they're going out with a bang with Hakeem Olajuwon and everything. Checking out. Back to the Magic. This time against the Jazz. And we got Kurt Thomas making a dunk for Orlando. How about a block by Khaled Reeves? Taking the ball the other way. Pass it. There you go. To Kurt Thomas. There's a dunk. 110, 103 now is the score. We got a miss three. We got a rebound by Lorenzen Wright. Lorenzen Wright is not the easiest name to say, by the way. It's tricky. But here's Wright making the basket for Utah. Utah's starting to become interesting. I said it before and I'll say it again. How about Grant Hill missing that three? Kurt Thomas with the putback. Grant Hill's been kind of quiet. Uh, these last couple of seasons as T-Mac misses. We got Elmore Spencer with the putback dunk. And, yeah, that's that's some more highlights from the Magic. But, again, I'm, I'm starting to notice that I feel like these last few seasons, I feel like Grant Hill hasn't really been doing much. When we when we, when we cut to Magic or Mavericks games in, in seasons past or, or, or the Magic this year, I hope that changes. I want to see Grant Hill uh, be more active scoring, you know. Delt Davis with the shot there. We are now watching Cavaliers 
76ers, both pretty interesting, good teams in the East. There's a basket by Terrell Brandon. Nice to see how Brandon looks with the Cavaliers. There's a rebound by Glenn Robinson, big dog. Got Eddie Jones for three. That's good. Five-point game. Six to get the ball back, and Nick Van Nex is going to pass it to Big Dog for the jump shot right there. 96-89, Terrell Brandon. Guarded by Van Nex, who passes it to Dill Davis for the bucket. Van Exel to Marcus Camby to Elton Brand. Newly acquired Elton Brand. He gets the, the bucket in the post. Now Terrell Brandon's going to pass it to Reggie Miller for two. He misses. Rebound. Van Exel and the Sixers have a chance to make it a nine-point game. There's the bucket. They get the foul, the free throw. Ten-point game. Now Eddie Jones sinks a three. And that might do it. That should do it. That will do it. 111-94 is the final score there. Nice team effort by the Sixers there. And we are now looking at Hornets Kings. Michael Jordan's final game in Sacramento. Terry Mills dunking the ball for Charlotte. It's 91-85. Scottie Pippen, of course. That's another thing we should point out. Scottie Pippen versus MJ. Maybe for the last time. Who knows? There's a block shot for the Kings. There's Reggie Lewis passing it to B.J. Armstrong for the bucket right there. 91-89, seven minutes left to go. B.J. Armstrong for three. That's no good. Or as a bonus gets to put back. And the foul. Tie game at 93. It's a bonus. Can't make that shot. Does get the put back to go in. 96-93. Or 96-93. It's a bonus. Makes that jumper. Five-point game for the Kings. It's a bonus yet again. He is on fire. Safe to say. Mashburn, meanwhile, pass from Jordan. Doesn't make the most of it, but Terry Mills is right there. Also misses. That's not great for the Hornets. Here come the Kings. Here comes Arvidas a bonus for the three. Oh, yeah, man. Pretty awesome. How about another three? Nah, too, too, uh, too ambitious. Sabonis, though, gets the rebound. Gets the putback. Sabonis, what a game. 30 and 19. He's like 35, 36 years old. He's still playing lights out. Still looks awesome. Milwaukee, Indiana. And here's a, th uh, was that a three? No, a long two by Jay Edwards, I believe. Now Dirk with the... Missed shot there. Jim Jackson gets the rebound. Loses the ball. Ball poked away. And here is a layup by Michael Williams of the Pacers. 86-82. Derek McKee to Jay Edwards to Carl Malone in the post. Malone makes the basket there for Indiana. 88-82. How about Jay Edwards making the layup? Make it an eight-point game. Derek McKee with a dunk. Can the Bucks get back into this game? Dirk. There you go. There's a three. That will do. Uh, that'll help anyway. Here about how about Lionel Simmons to Jim Jackson for the long two. Okay, 92 to 87. Derek McKee to Carl Malone. Malone with the bucket. 94, 87. Chris Childs with the layup. Five point game. Michael Williams to Michael Finley. Back to Williams. And there's a layup and a foul. Nice play. And this game is over. You know, Indianapolis quietly just been a really solid franchise uh, throughout this throughout the 90s and the early 2000s in the sim. And now we're checking out Nuggets Hawks, 83-81. Kenny the Jet Smith passing it to Oliver Miller. He makes that basket. Four-point game in Atlanta. Dino Raja now. He's also had a nice career in this sim. Uh, kind of unsung, you know. Not much. Not much. Uh, I think he made it All-Star once or twice. You know, pretty cool. 
as we see a replay here of Steve Smith receiving the pass, making the bucket. 87-84, 7.40 left to go. Chauncey Billows passing to Raja and then to Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan making the basket over Christian Leitner. 88-87, Chauncey Billups to Bronzy Wills. He missed. Tim Duncan with the putback. 91-89. How about Robert Pack to Kenny the Jet Smith? He makes a three. 92-91. Iverson makes the basket there. Christian Leitner turns around, makes the jump shot. A back and forth affair. Tim Duncan to Iverson. Midi from the elbow. Now here's Oliver Miller to Robert Pack. Loses the ball. That's Bonzi Wells. Passing it to Armstrong for the basket. 97-94. AI. Can he close this game? Can he ice it? Oh, he just might. There's a dunk uh, for starters. Now here's Glenn Rice. Passing to Steve Smith for three. That's going to keep it close. 99-97 now. Less than a minute left to go. 26.6 now, actually. Wells to Iverson. There's an intentional foul. Let's see if Allen Iverson can make these free throws. First one, good. Second one, also good. That might seal it. Yep, 17 points for Allen Iverson in the, in the victory. And we are moving on. Two Bucks, Magic, T Mac, Grant Hill, Dirk. Let's do it. Grant Hill, finally, finally, we're seeing some Grant Hill highlights. Makes the basket there. And now Grant Hill again. Could it be? Yes, sir. So there we go. We got two Grant Hill buckets in a row. T Mac, he's not to be outdone. Here he is with the jumper. Oh, yeah. Looking mighty good doing that thing. Dirk, meanwhile, makes a basket for the Bucks. 106-104. Jason Terry to Matumbo. Can't get that shot to fall. And the Magic. How about Vin Baker with the alley-oop? Uh, T-Mac with the dunk. Sorry, I blanked out right there. Is that Mono Ginobili with the three? I think it is. 110, 107. And then here's T Mac with a jumper. 112, 107. Dunk there. It was a T Mac again. Manu. Ginobili. Oh, man. We've unleashed the Ginobili, folks. And here's a three for the Bucks. That's Jim Jackson. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> this might actually be. This is going to be awesome. Uh, Dirk with a shot there. 115, 114. Grant Hill with both free throws. Let's see if the Bucks can tie things. Dirk! No! Nah, that's it. But, dudes, Ginobili. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not showing you the box score for both teams. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. But uh, here's Charlotte versus San Antonio. There's a basket for Charlotte. We're at the Alamo Dome. Eric Snow to Jordan to Rashad Lewis. Jamal Mashburn makes the shot. Replay of Monster Mash going to work against Tim Hardaway. They were teammates at one point in real life. Now we got Doug Christie. To David Robinson for the jumper. 95-90. Can Charlie get back into this one? Michael Jordan says maybe. With that jumper, it keeps things close. Tim Hardaway, meanwhile. He's going to miss. Rebound, Charlotte. Mashburn. Taking the ball up court. Eric Snow. To Doherty. To Jordan. He's going to make that basket one-point game. 310 left, or 230 left now. As we see a missed shot by Charlotte. And the Spurs. Len Bias? 
for a mid-ranger. That's no good, but David Robinson throws it down. 99-94. Michael Jordan with the dunk. His last game in San Antonio, folks. His last game in San Antonio. We don't get to see all of his last games in every arena, unfortunately. Uh, as we see a three there. Uh, but we see some. That's going to be fun. How about Brad Doherty making the basket there after getting the rebound? 102.98. Tim Hardaway missing. Rashard Lewis with the rebound. Jamal Mashburn for three. That's good. 102, 101. 27 seconds left to go. Spurs with the one point lead. Doug Christie for three. That's good. Could that have ice things? Mashburn to Snow. That's a made three. Okay. Here come some free throws. Oh, there's, there's the one. So now it's 107, 104. That was two of two. Second free throw. Here's a three. Oh, and like the Bucks game, the Hornets lose in dramatic fashion. Michael Jordan had 35, though. And we are moving right along. Mavericks, Boston, three-point lead for the Celtics. Kenny Anderson with that basket for Boston. And here is a made shot by Rodney Rogers. Kenny Anderson at the free throw line. I guess he's already uh, icing the game, right? That was a quick one. Or wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Let's check this out. Carlos Rogers. Going to pass it to Rodney Rogers. Yes. Okay. Hold your horses, folks. 108, 107. Lamar Odom passes to Ray Allen. Now he's generally automatic from the free throw line, but he misses the first free throw. Second one's good. Mavericks are out of timeouts. Yes, it looks like they are, but there's plenty of time to make a, a, a good shot selection here. Larry Johnson make, makes the dunk. It's 109. 109. Are we going to overtime? Ray Allen? Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. Overtime in Boston. A rematch of the 1987 and 1988 finals in this sim. Lamar Odom making the layup there for Boston. Larry Johnson can't make that shot. Paul Pierce taking the ball. Going the other way with it. Lamar Odom with the dunk. You know, I didn't factor in Lamar Odom being such a force offensively for the Celtics team, but there he is. There's a basket there for, basket there for the Mavericks. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. Kenny Anderson makes a three, though. 116, 111. 255 left to go. Mark Price. Was that uh, was it to L LJ? Could have been. And then Jerry Stackhouse misses the three. We almost never say his name. He's been a he's been a bit of a disappointment this sim, I gotta say. And then here's Ray Allen missing Odom with the basket. Could that have sealed the deal? Very well, might have. Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom is looking quite nice on on the Celtics. How about a three for Lamar Odom? No. Ray Allen though. Alley oop to Lamar Odom. There we go. And that should take care of business. 126, 117 is the final score. And yeah, how about Lamar Odom, guys? He's looking pretty cool. Looking pretty good. So is Mon Ginobili on the Bucks. Sharif Abdul Rahim, by the way, just made a jumper. He wants be, he wants us to talk about him too. Damon Sotomayor misses. Rashid Wallace with the putback. MJ's final game in Portland. It's pretty cool. Sotomayor makes a jumper there. 87-84. Rebound. Hornets, four and a half left to go. Mashburn to Jordan for the alley-oop. 87-86. Kendall Gill passing it to Jason Williams for the long two. No good. Rashid Wallace. I feel the need. The need for Rashid. Can he deliver yet again? Well, he decides to pass it to Stoudemire instead. Mighty Mouse with the jumper there. Now here's Rashid again. 
Let's do this, Rasheed. Come on. Making the basket in the post. 93-87. We got Mashburn with the bucket. 93-89. Rip Hamilton out there. Making the jumper. He's the future of the Blazers. We got Stoudemire to Abdurrahim with a dunk. Eight-point lead. Can the Hornets come back from this one? It's looking quite unlikely, but Mashburn does make that three. Hold on. Let's wait a second. Abdurrahim does make that shot, and that's probably it. 99-92 would be the final score. 27 and 19 for Rashid Wallace. 21 for Mashburn. MJ had a bit of a quiet game. As we check out Magic Nets. T Mac. Missing. Grant Hill with the jumper. 107-106. And here's a miss shot by Rex, Rex Chapman. And we got. Khaled Reeves out there. And that's actually Woods. And here's T Mac with a three. 110, 106. And here is Kurt Thomas with a basket. Six point lead for the Magic. El Gasas can't get that pass. And now Grant Hill is going to make this layup for the Magic. And oh man, there is a Grant Hill replay. I could have put that at the beginning of the video, but I missed it. Magic won. 35 points for Vin Baker. Tracy McGrady with 30. Grant Hill with 20 and 10. And, uh, yeah, the Magic, you know, I think they're coming together a little bit. You know, it was going to be awkward at first trying to get these two two stars to play, uh, to be simpatico, simpatico with each other. Um, but I think eventually it's going to work out. And I don't know if they have the best team around them. I don't know if Vin Baker, Kurt Thomas, and Khaled Reeves is the best trio to put around T-Mac and Grant Hill. But uh, it's a work in progress. Let's end this video, by the way, with Magic Hornets. We got Michael Jordan making the jumper for Charlotte there. We got MJ to Mashburn in the post. Makes that shot over Collard Reeves. Now here's Vin Baker to Elmore Spencer to Grant Hill. Hill receives the screen. Can't make that shot, but does draw the foul. Grant Hill at the free throw line. First one is good. Second one also good. So it's a two-point game. 90 seconds up to go. And MJ is going to just... Knife through, draw the foul, makes his free throws, and that would do it. 96-89 final score, and the Hornets come out on top. So that is it. Fun, though, right? T-Mac and Grant Hill, Michael Jordan, you know, his days are numbered in the league, so it's fun to catch as many MJ games as we can before he's, before he's done. And uh, we got a lot of other fun teams. Even the Jazz are fun, for crying out loud. So I'm excited. We didn't even see the Pistons. There's there's other teams that are that are the Sonics. I don't think we saw them yet. Um, shoot, I mean, there's the, the Heat. The Miami Heat are are pretty damn good too. So Alonzo Mourning leading the league in points, which is kind of shocking, kind of surprising. 32.5 points, only 14 games played so far for the Heat, but. Still very impressed to see him at the top of the board there. I see Michael Jordan is seventh, by the way. Vin Baker leading the league in rebounds. And you got Stephon Marbury leading the league in assists with 12. So that is uh, pretty interesting. The Heat and the Hawks are tied for first place in the East. And then in the West, we got... I don't have time to, I don't have the time to, to tell you the standings there in the East. But you could just kind of pause and look at them at your own leisure. But uh, the West, you got, well, okay, you got Spurs, Lakers, Clippers, Sonics. That's it. Thank you very much, guys. December, next episode, Eastern Conference, following that. And goodbye.